So what gets in the way then of the great overwhelming majority of us not having the opportunity to achieve that level of greatness that we're talking about here? There has to be something that gets in the way or a lot of things that get in the way. Sure. And I'll tell you that one of the main things is belief. Um, uh, human beings have a habit of subscribing to belief. And then they go down a positive thing in the self-development route. And then they read books about how to change their beliefs, right? Make them more empowering and, and positive and uh, self-affirmations and self-talk and all this stuff. And you can't believe your way anywhere either. It's a knowing. So what gets in the way is belief. Belief is the costliest thing in a human being's life. So, how, so what do you replace that with knowing? So do I know the unknown that, hey, I'm you going don't to pursue replace this path? It with, you don't replace it with anything. You don't replace it with anything, okay? The knowing that's there wasn't placed there. It just was, okay? You don't replace it with anything. It is the understanding that if you believe the things that you are told, you will be massively and enormously limited. If you believe the story that your mind tells you about yourself, you will be massively and enormously limited. So you ask questions too quickly, Mo. When you ask a question and then I respond, you immediately run away like the stove is too hot and you jump to the other side and say, well, how do you fix that? You, you haven't heard me yet. You have to hear what I'm saying, not so that you can follow it, not so that you can, that you can do what I say. I'm not saying to do anything. It, it's, it's listen with understanding, not, sort of, not listen with the opportunity to ask how. Because I'm never going to give it to you because it doesn't exist. So, so belief is a massive, massive problem. And the idea that one must change his beliefs is more imprisonment. So that's what gets in the way. What gets in the way, to be succinct, the, what gets in the way it is that uh, human beings are very quick to believe that what they hear, either from others or from their own mind, is true. So who do we trust? If we're not going to trust anybody else's opinion or perspective, who, and not that people's opinions matter, but who do we trust? That's a wonderful question. You trust the unnamed non-entity within you that speaks to you, and upon its speaking, you immediately know. And what does that look like? Is that just an that intuitive like feeling? Just, just, absolutely. Absolutely. It, listen, it is not about what is there. It is about what is there after what needs to be removed is removed. So it is not about what is there. It's about what is left. So when a person subscribes to no belief, not by prescription, just genuinely, when he begins to doubt all the lies that his mind tell him, then the things that remain that had been trying to come to the surface but have not been able to because they've been drowned out by the belief, that thing is finally able to come to the surface. And that is an unnamed non-entity to which I will never give a name because the moment I give a name to it, there will be a discussion about it. And as long as there's a discussion about it, it will not be seen. 